backstroke S6. There is only one heat of this one. And you ask, well, why is there only one heat of this one? That is because there's nine swimmers in it and they have to go down to eight for the final. So, one swimmer to lose. And I think that's the luxury of a 10 lane pool because it really is better to have a full heat of nine swimmers than two heats of four and five. Again, similar S6, we will see different disabilities employ different styles. And there's Yelizaveta Marischko, real emerging star over the last couple of years, especially in the freestyle events. Oksana Krull, she has been absolutely dominant in 50 meters butterfly. There is Diodorova from Russia, the reigning European champion. European record has stood since 2011, 126.19. I just wonder if you might see that being challenged today. It would be great if that could happen. These girls really do push each other on. They're all of the same generation. They've raced each other for a very long time. They've, they've learned a lot off each other. And I think we could see them push each other to a great time. So Diodorova and Oksana Krul out ahead in the early stages, as you would expect. Mareshko will come back, though. The swimmer there just to one lane up from those two swimmers without arms. Mareshko stroking away very nicely. Oksana Krul looking very good indeed there. Ahead of Diodorova, the reigning champion. Oksana Krul has gone out very quickly, and you'd expect Moreshko to come back down that second 50, being an athlete who doesn't have the use of her legs. She'll, she'll come stronger as the uh, the girls with the arm impairment start to tire. But Anastasia Dudurova is coming into this in good form. She got 1 minute 26 seconds at the Russian Nationals last month. But she seems to, she either swims really, really well, or sometimes she's a bit off the pace. Well, she's behind Oksana Krul at the moment. 40.75 for Oksana Krul. That is pretty close to European record pace. If she answers a crack at this one in the heat, she may well have it. She is tying up, though. Oksana Krul, she, ha she does have arms, but she has no use of them. Very kind of thin arms. She doesn't have the use of them. And as expected, Mareshko coming back in those closing stages. Oksana Krul just using those arms and just stretching over at the end there. That gives, us a, that gives her a little bit of an advantage at the end over the likes of Diodorova. Yeah, but the advantage that she gets of being able to touch the wall, she loses from having the arms hanging by the side of her and creating more of a drag throughout the race, which is, again, another example of how the Essex classification works. Marishko being quite satisfied with that one under the 130 mark. So it's the two Ukrainians in first and second. This looks like cruel held by a coach. Arms. This turn there, Dear Roma using that underwater. There's a little stretch at the end there. So cool. Doesn't get much of a, a reach with her arms at the end there, but you never know. It could come down to hundreds of seconds. You see that? Looks on the crew looking pretty good. And one she did ease off there to 128.47. Seconds outside the European record might uh, be under threat tonight. I think Miriam de Koning Pepper from way back in 2011. Marishko in second, near the Roma in 